Episode 200, The Truth Will Get Out. Seeing Director Harris glaring at him, Mr. Turkle jumped to attention. Oh, yes, I see. Well, I, I think you've been in here long enough, Aiden, he stuttered. Then he fell at Aiden's feet. You're free to go, he whimpered. Just please, please just don't hurt me. Punishment for what? Director Harris asked forcefully. What happened? Mr. Turkle trembled. Seeing that Mr. Turkle wasn't going to answer, a few students in the crowd jumped in to explain what had happened that morning. Cheating? Director Harris bellowed. That's ridiculous. Mr. Wiles had assured him that Aiden was a genius. Why would he need to cheat on an exam? He didn't believe it for a second. He turned to the uniformed men standing beside him and issued a few sharp instructions. Find the students who accused Aiden of cheating and bring them to me. I'm going to figure out what's going on here. Mr. Turkle was a blubbering mess. He had to lean his body against the wall for support. Moments later, the students who'd accused Aiden of cheating arrived, escorted by Director Harris's men. They looked around at the crowd before their eyes fell on the cold face of Director Harris. Their muscles tensed. Mr. Turkle winked at them several times in succession, but the students were too anxious and confused to understand what he was trying to communicate to them. When asked to explain what had happened, they repeated exactly what they'd said before. Again, they made sure to mention that they had proof. Aiden had given them each a note. Director Harris listened to their story and then asked them to hand over the evidence. He took the notes, looked at them briefly, and then handed them to one of his men. Check it out, he said. The man immediately put on a pair of glasses and some white gloves. Then he took some small, fragile-looking instruments out of his pocket and began to closely examine the pieces of paper. It looked like he was using some kind of magnifying glass. The frame was covered with several rings of black metal, which the man adjusted slightly as he worked. The handle of the instrument was covered in small buttons. When the man pressed one of the buttons, different colored lights flashed out. Occasionally, the man would stop and write something down. Aiden watched the man's movements very carefully. He was very interested in the tool the man was using and wondered how it worked. Watching the investigation process, detective ability, plus one, current progress, one out of ten, current level, beginner, researching precision instruments, mechanical capacity, plus one, current progress, one out of ten, current level, beginner. There was total silence in the room as the crowd of people watched the man work. Before long, the man put down his tools and reported his findings to Director Harris. The investigation is complete, sir, he said. After thorough analysis, I found that the handwriting on these notes is inconsistent with Mr. Dale's. The notes are forgeries. What? Someone in the crowd gasped. The notes were forged? It was clear now that Aiden hadn't threatened these students at all. It was all just a lie, a complete fabrication. As this sunk in, more and more people in the crowd turned their gaze on Aiden's accusers. Director Harris also turned toward them. How could you do that to your own classmate? He asked coldly. Why would you do such a thing? No one spoke for a moment. Why? Tell me! The group of students looked at each other nervously. They weren't sure what to do. If you don't tell me the truth right now, Director Harris warned, I'll take you back to FBI headquarters for interrogation. This got everyone's attention. The students bowed their heads and tried to hold back tears. <laughs>